Before this video starts, my throat does hurt a bit, so if my voice sounds a bit off or a bit raspy, oh, I'm sorry about that, it shouldn't be there in the next video. Leveling rules are in every good leveling bot. They basically, after you hit a certain level, they'll give you a certain role, and I guess that's just rewarding you for it. Now, some bigger bots, such as Me6, don't have this or it's a premium feature. And I'm going to show you guys how you can actually add it to your bot very simply. And a lot of the code that we already will need for it is set up. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Here I am in my Visual Studio code. And First, what we're going to do is we already have our table created here from last video. Now, if you haven't checked out last video, I highly suggest you do it because that's where we set up, I guess, this table and do toggling. So this already has the two, I guess, main things that we're going to need. So it's a row integer and level requirement, which is also integer. So over here, down below, what we're going to do is over in our if XP, we can just make a couple of small changes to this. So everything that we have, I guess at the moment is fine, but we're gonna add one more thing. So await cursor to execute, and we're not actually gonna be updating anything, but we're gonna actually be selecting something. So select, and then we're gonna do roll from level settings where and then level requirement equals question mark and field equals question mark and then we're going to pass in our values here so it's going to be level and field.id so here what we're doing is we're going inside of our database level settings and we're grabbing a couple of values to see if there is actually a role reward at whatever level they just hit so then we can do if that is true row equals await cursor dot fetch one and then all the way at the bottom here what we can do is like here we can do if row. so if it exists then we're going to do row equals row zero and then because it is a json value that's returned to us and we're going to do row equals guild dot get underscore row now, the reason that we do this is because role is stored as an ID. And so here we're grabbing the first ID, right? So now this is just going to be the plain old ID, and then we're passing that into here. So now we're actually grabbing the role attribute. So a role a bunch of times, but yeah. After we have the role attribute, then we can actually, you know, add the role to the whoever it is, right? So await author dot add underscore roles. And we're going to pass in role. Now, you may want to slap this in a try statement just in case you can't actually do it. Just to prevent some errors, such as accept uh, next or discord.http exception, like so. And if that happens, then you can always just do here. And then it adds up to here not able okay something like that that would this would work fine and just yeah but after that what we want to do is say this went successfully and i guess everything just went perfectly then we can just do await message dot channel dot send send and inside here, we can fstream this and say something like, or author.mention has us leveled up to, and then whatever level it is, so. Something like this. So if they do level up, then we can do author.mention has leveled up to whatever level they are leveled up to. And then 
received row.name. And then let's say this isn't even true, like they didn't really even level up. Then, or I mean, they didn't achieve any role or get any role, then we can just slap this in there and that off, like so. So, this is how it kind of looks like. Basically, if we just do a run down through this, we actually grab the role, see if the whoever re reached the new role or level is eligible to get a new role. And if they are, then we're going to run this where we actually grab the role attribute that they should get. Then we add it and then we let them know that they got it. If we can't add it to them, then we let them know that we couldn't. And if they didn't get any role at all, then we just say, okay, they leveled up. Anyways, that's it. That is our actual, I guess, adding part. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create two other commands. And these two commands are going to be controlling it. So they will allow you to the first one will allow you to view all of the rewards that you can look at. And the second one will let you set the role, actually. And so, um, what do you got? This, yeah. So now we can start off with bar.command command and async dev, and we're just gonna call this rewards. And then this will pass in CTX, and that's really all we need to pass in. Then we can do async with bot dot, and here we can put cursor dot db dot cursor as cursor, and then inside here we're gonna do await cursor dot execute, and we're gonna select or actually level sys from low settings. Now the reason that we're actually doing this is we can just copy and paste this because this is the same code that uh that's just gonna be checking if the level system is actually enabled but right we can skip past all that then we can actually do the stuff that you know we need to do so what we're gonna do is await cursor dot execute and pass in select and we're gonna select everything from level settings like so and then we're gonna have where get close question mark and then for here we're gonna pass in gear.id or ctx.gear.id for that matter so it should look something like this and i spell await wrong now that we have that we can do role level equals await cursor dot catch all we might even want to do role levels we can do if Role levels, and if they do exist, then or actually, if not role levels, then we can just do return oh, at ctx dot send no role and then. After we have that, we can do, we can actually just display all of our rule. So now the way I'm going to do this is embed equals next chord dot, or not next chord actually, discord dot embed. And we could set the title to something like rule levels. And then, then I split levels wrong. And then we can do description equals, I guess, Role levels for the server. And then we're gonna create a for loop. So for role in role levels, we're gonna do embed dot add underscore field. And so in here what we're able to add is first the name, which this is gonna be set to level. And then roll two. This is also going to be from the DB and whatever we pull. So this will be the level requirement for it. And this will automatically be arranged from top down order. So there's no need to worry about that. But <clears throat> now that we have that, we can value equals, and for this, we can do CTX. Dot guild 
dot get underscore role and we're just gonna grab the role so role one which is the ID and then dot mention like so and then for here we can also do inline equals false like so and now last thing is we actually want to just send it so ctx dot send and embed equals em and there we go that is the rewards command all set up so now what we want to do is we want to work on a setting command or set rule command so all we're going to do is do we have a yeah, we have s level here so we're going to use that so at s level dot command and we're going to set some aliases for this because uh, i feel like that would be easier oh we can just do sr add roll and ar i feel like those were good and then we can do and this one we're actually going to need permission so commands dot un has underscore permissions and we're going to do manage rules or let's just do messages you could do whatever you want equals true like so and then we're going to do async def set rule inside here we're going to pass in the ctx level which should be defaulted to an integer and then right here add asterisk role which is going to be equal to discord dot role okay so now that we have that we're just gonna once again do the same exact thing that we uh did here where you can't actually set a rule if it's not enabled but then what we can do is we can just do await cursor dot trap or sorry about that await cursor dot execute and in here we're going to do select role from level settings where guild or actually where role is equal to question mark and guild is equal to question mark and so in the end here we're just going to pass in ctx.guild and role.ip so it should look something like that. So the reason that we're doing this is we're looking if there's actually a role already enabled. So, or a role that's already existing with the same parameters. So role tf equals away cursor.fetch1. Now say that, I guess, role tf actually works, right? Or, and we can actually just copy this and check it for the same thing for the level. Level and pass in level. It's going to be called level tf. And so we can just check if row tf or level tf. Then we can just do turn away ctx.send a row or level setting value already exists so we can't have multiple of the same role or level in the database and this just helps not bug out the bot but now that we have that we can do the final thing right so like let's say that returns false and we need to insert something so insert cursor.execute and insert into level settings values and the level the values that we put over here so question mark question mark question mark question mark because it takes in four values and then after we have that we're going to do true row.id level ctx.go.id it should look something like that and this should be a comma but after we have that we can do await bot dot db dot commit like so and lastly what we can do is we can just do i guess send a message and await ctx dot send updated that level rule and that's pretty much it that's i guess level rules in discord.py so now what we're going to do is we're going to hop into discord and we're actually going to test it out
Okay, so here I am in my Discord. Uh, link down in the description. Uh, please join. I'm trying to get to 1,000 members. So yeah, please. Thanks. But anyways, um, here I am. And so all we're gonna run is first level, right? We're gonna check out my level, and you can see that I'm XP 13, and I'm still level zero. And so the level that I'm gonna be applying to myself is actually removed, it, right? So is the sort of active level, right? That's gonna be the first one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do SR, and we're gonna pass in the level, right? So the level that the limit is, so one. And just letting you know, I had to like remove the groups command. I think it was just because of like some spell mistake in the aliases. But yeah, try it out if it works for you guys. It probably should. But here I'm gonna do SR one, and then. I'm gonna put in the role sort of active and it's gonna say updated that level rule and actually if you check in your database right now the level rule would have updated so here i am and i still do not have the role all right so and if i check my level also you'll see that i went up a bit so now i'm just gonna really quickly get to 100 and here you go so i guess yeah it just happened and the reason you will see it, i was not able to give the love rule is because actually in my role hierarchy you can see that the own rule is above the bot rule so it's not actually able to give it to me and yeah and it actually said was not able to give the level rule so that's how it is exactly uh i really hope you enjoyed today's video and there you can actually see level rules working i just wasn't able to get it because of the exception but you should be able to as long as your role hierarchy is in check i really hope you enjoyed today's video it was a fun one to make and yeah till next time close to go see ya